232 layer NAND that Micron brought out. World's first, which I think they deserve a little bit more than a golf clap. Well, let me get my notebook out. I got to take notes here. This is a learning experience for me as well. Ah, right. Ah, uh, dial it in. <laughs> no, no. Uh, so um, let me just give, okay, first of all, NAND is high performance storage. And that can be in a smartphone, that can be in a PC, or that can be a, a in a, in a data center, right? Uh, and Daniel, I know you're gonna you're gonna talk a little bit uh, more uh, about why this even matters, a uh, big, big picture and the growth opportunity. But uh, what happens is 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 the more layers that you can stack on top of each other in storage, the higher the density. So essentially, what the company did is put almost two x the density. Uh, inside the same amount of space on the piece of silicon. And that's nearly twice the density of Samsung. And that's nearly twice the density of, of Kioxia. Not that someday those, those folks will get there, but you know, being first does count uh, for more. I had a great conversation uh, with, with head of the group, uh, Jeremy uh, Werner, I always like to say Werner because they speak German. Uh, but anyways, had a great conversation with Jeremy uh, about how this is going to roll out uh, into PCs and into the data center. Also had a great conversation uh, with one of their end customers in the data center, Bill Sarita from Pure Storage. And as you know, Pure is one of the only companies that takes raw storage and turns that into... Um, storage devices uh, inside of the data center. And they do some really cool stuff with software to improve the reliability, let's say on QLC uh, um, memory to make it operate uh, as reliably as, uh, as DLC and, and SLC. So that's single layer, dual layer and quad. So, um, but they're also, you know, they have this software wizardry, and I urge you to check out the the YouTube uh, video that I that I did with uh, that I did with these two folks. But congratulations to Micron; they're really on a roll. First to DDR5 in getting that productized. First now to 232 layer uh, NAND uh, and storage. Great job. Yeah, I, I first of all really enjoyed your article on Forbes and your interview. I spend half of my free time consuming content that you create without me. I a little bit of jealousy, but you know what? What else can I do, my friend? Um, I was actually reading through this though, and I, and I highlighted something because I thought it was great. So for all of our audience, you know, we understand some of you are extremely technical, some of you are on the business end, some of you are here to learn. So I, I thought uh, Werner Werner um, made a great uh, analogy in your and you talked about in your article where you talked about kind of thinking about memory and thinking about uh, the 232 layer NAND uh, like real estate. And so you know, in a dense metropolitan area, you can't build wider, you know, think about the large wafer, you have to build vertically, think about stacking, which is becoming an increasingly important trend. So in a downtown area and that highly dense in New York City, you don't build out, you build up a little bit like 232 layer NAND, he thinks of it like a skyscraper, uh, creates more density and layer 3D NAND, you know, is basically enabling Micron to scale and build more efficient skyscrapers. I thought that was great. I mean, like I said, Pat, you know, I, I read your writing and then I just sort of copy paste uh, to make great analysis. Buddy, some days you're so gracious and some That's days you're not. Yeah. Well, I do yeah, read, I, I, I do, I do hit up some of your research. I'll, I'll admit. <laughs> it's a Friday. I'm feeling good. And, and frankly, like I said, I admit when I'm in the learning mode, you know, we were sitting in those quantum briefings this week and I felt like a student in grad school again. I mean, and I felt okay. like a student taking a class that I didn't know a lot about in grad school. And, we're considered two of the foremost thinkers in quantum as analysts, you know, and this stuff is hard. Well, some of this semiconductor stuff is hard too. just take a tour of a large semiconductor plant and actually look around at the equipment, the lithography, all the things that are happening. And you're, you know, you're going, holy cow, this is so complex. You know, what was it that we're aiming laser beams at stuff? I, I mean, th this stuff is amazing. And the beauty of it is in the end, it's all about usability. And so, you know, what Micron is really doing is enabling the compute and data center or the future 
uh, to be able to keep up with data and storage innovation and make sure that computing can keep up. And that's really what's happening here. And to your point, Micron's been very on the front end. They're, they're very innovative and they understand their role in this particular space. And these breakthroughs are really important, but in the end, they're really important because when you're serving up these applications, you have all this data you need to access in order to do meaningful work in these applications. Storage and memory are an incredibly important part of that. And Micron, to your point, is continuing to move this forward. 